What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Lord Femmer. In today's video, we're gonna start Clan War League September with day one action from your Clan Dark Knights. Unfortunately, we ended up losing this uh, war. We are really, really bad in day one of every Clan War League. I think last month, even when we got promoted, we still lost day one. So, we're gonna, we're gonna have to adjust for next month and try to figure out what we could do better on day one. I don't know if it's just uh, nerves or what it is and we end up getting a couple one stars or something and it just ruins the entire war for us. But you know it is what it is. We're we're getting better. Uh we're gonna bounce back after that war and hopefully go on a little run, maybe win six straight. Uh that's our goal. And that way we're not even close to getting demoted. We just wanna stay in Masters One. Wasn't really sure if we were gonna get promoted month one. That's extremely hard to do, back to back promotions. Um and this is almost the big leagues now. Like we're we're in there, we're we got top 10 bases are almost maxed out, which is just crazy. So definitely got to figure it out uh, and readjust, but we'll do that. So in today's video, we're going to show you guys the top three attacks from Dark Knights and the top three attacks from the enemy clan. And that way you guys could see some different variations of attacks here. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy that. So let me know in the comments down below if uh, this is a video you want me to do the next seven days. And uh, we'll show you guys some different attacks from Town Hall 14. So if you guys liked the video today, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll get right into the action. Alright guys, just a quick run through before we get into these attacks. As you can see, we, get, we lost the clan war uh, by two stars. We had two one stars, they had one one star. Uh, they also had four triples to our three triples. Um, so... We couldn't pick it up in day one. We got 31 stars, which is still really good. Um, so proud of the clan for that. You know, us just getting triples alone in this league is it's it's hard to do. So, um, but we're gonna keep grinding and getting better and pushing uh, to potentially uh, win some wars and not get demoted. That's our that's our goal at this point. Uh, after you lose one war, it's really hard to get promoted. I don't even know how we got promoted last month uh, when we lost a war, but you know we'll take it. So at this point, we're just trying not to get demoted. So we're going to do everything we can to not get demoted. Uh, but we're going to show you guys three attacks from the enemy clan and three attacks from our clan. Alright, on this first attack, we got their number eight coming in against uh, my base. Unfortunately, my base got tripled. A uh, little spoiler, me and the number eight actually traded triples against each other. So that's never a bad thing. Uh, but he's going to start with eight quakes to open up the entire middle of the base. Uh, so this is a golem. Yeti Super Wizard Smash Attack with a Log Launcher um, against these anti it's an anti two star base and he opened it up with uh, eight quakes which was huge and got a little damage on the town hall and pushed this log launcher through uh, the middle of the base with the main army and this log launcher is going to basically take out this town hall uh, before it even pops uh, that last log is actually going to take it down and then. We got the rest of the army starting to work on the outside, get away from that Town Hall Poison. RC down, uh, working with the main army as well. Still got the Queen ability. And he's he's already destroyed this base. I mean, we're a minute into the attack and we're 75% done. So, yeah. <laughs> you guys, this is another way you can just destroy these anti-two-star bases. Uh, Super Wizard Smash with Yetis and Golems. Super super strong super wizards are insane the chain effect on chain the chain value on these anti two star bases is just absolutely insane so he had a good plan he opened up the base with the quakes um, used four of the quakes to damage the town hall got the log launcher going behind the main army which took out the town hall um, and then he yeah he just absolutely destroyed my base so nice attack. All right, since we showed him tripling my base, we might as well just come back and show your boy Lord Femmer smashing his base. Um, we're going to start this clone Hydra from the 6 to 9 portion of the base. Uh, I noticed in a video, last video, you guys are asking, you know, hey Lord Femmer, how, how, do, you, how do you place your clone spells? Um, so, on this style base, you guys see the air sweeper, it's pointed towards the town hall, okay? So, my, where my blimp's going to come, which is the south side of the sweeper, I'm actually going to place one of my clone spells um, a little a little more towards the you know the air defense because I'm anticipating that air sweeper either knocking my blimp or uh, pushing some of the loons as well. 
so that way I could still get max value on all the clones. Um, and this also allows some of these clones to avoid the Town Hall explosion, as you saw there. So the Sweeper moved them, um, and with that clone spell being a little further down, they targeted other defenses besides the Town Hall. So, you know, where you're putting the clone spells really just depends, in my opinion, the biggest thing is where the Sweepers are. If the Sweepers are nowhere near the Town Hall, you're good to go. Just, just drop your clones like normal. But if you have Sweepers pointed towards the Town Hall, if you have Double Sweeper on opposite sides of the Town Hall, you know, you just got to really uh, plan off of, you know, hey, I'm coming from the north side, so I need to freeze that south side sweeper and then anticipate the north side sweeper pushing the blimp or pushing the loons, you know, so maybe I should put one a little little behind the town hall. Um, it's just kind of, it's all dependent on the sweepers. Uh, when I, that's the main thing I look at when I'm placing my clone spells, or where the sweepers are. The best bases are when the sweepers are not even relevant to where the town hall is, and you literally don't even have to worry about it. But there are anti two star bases or bases that have a sweeper pointed directly on the town hall or both sweepers pointed directly on the town hall. And that's where you got to get strategic with it because the sweepers will move your loons and move the blimp. So you just got to place those clones and anticipate where they're going to move. All right, we're going to come back with it. the enemy clan attack. We got a pretty similar attack again. Uh, this clan liked a lot of ground attacks and you know ground is still strong um, He's gonna open up that first part of the base then use the earthquakes on the second half of the base including the town hall um, so if you guys don't know Using if you're using quakes the four quakes uh, on the, on the town hall Yes, it's gonna activate the town hall, but if you're using a log launcher that log launcher um, will almost if not destroy the town hall before your troops even get there which is huge and then you could end up almost using the entire town hall poison and it's gone before your troops even walk through it so as you can see how weak this town hall is it's got two more logs and then it goes down and the troops aren't even up there we're not even up there yet so no, nothing gets hit by the explosion and now since the town hall is not there they're gonna walk around the poison which is just absolutely insane. So that's a sweet little combination. Uh, if you guys didn't know, four quakes to open up the backside wall and then a log launcher to actually destroy the town hall before your troops get there. Uh, that's why, one of the reasons why the log launcher is very good, log launcher pairs very, very well with quakes. Uh, in the last war, classic war video we had, uh, we showed one of our clan mates um, actually using quakes to damage a bunch of walls and then the log launcher opened up all of them so even if you know you do something like that it's it's still a lot of value um with the quakes and the log launcher uh, we actually his whole entire army actually ended up dying off so um blood pool had some had insane trap value in there i mean if you look at that we had five giant bombs and some of them some of them well actually six giant bombs um Actually, seven, seven giant bombs. Didn't see of them, two of them, because they were in the earth earthquake uh, aftermath. But yeah, uh, the whole army ended up dying off from all the giant bombs and everything in the middle of that base, because that's just how anti two stars are. Uh, it's it's very very hard to pick up massive value afterwards. But as you can see, there's no defenses left. So once you get through the core of that base, um, like I've said in Clone Hydra, you get through the core of that base with with the clone spell with all the balloons. There's nothing left. I mean, everything is gone. So the, even if all of your troops die, your queen or warden, as you can see here, or RC, you know, whatever heroes left is going to finish off the base. So nice plan with the quakes and the log launcher uh, to get that triple. On right, this next attack, I got my man KRS from Dark Knights coming in uh, with his version of Clone Hydra. He's using one skeleton spell as well, but... He's using one less dragon, one less dragon rider. He's using an E dragon, a couple more loons, and a baby dragon, all for funneling purposes. Um, so it's really been working out for him. He's gotten some triples in war, um, and I know he's pushing deep into legends too. So maybe this, maybe this is a uh, an attack we maybe adapt a little bit to use this E dragon for funneling purposes. And the E dragon alone is just so strong. So if the E dragon actually gets paired up with your main army later on in the attack. It's going to be huge value. So he got a good little funnel going. Sends the main army in directly on the eagle. Um, and quickly gets that blimp going with the uh, warden ability. And we're going to pick up. So you see how he dumped 
We're actually not going to get anything on that first clone. But he put this last clone down here, anticipating that sweeper blast. Uh, he probably just put the first clone a little, little too far. Um, separated them out just a little too much, but that's all right. Uh, that, that's where we learn from those things. You got you to gotta figure out wh what's the best way to separate these things, because I tell you, it's hard. The first time I did it, I had them all not even like touching each other, because I figured, oh, uh, they'll, they'll clone as they, like, the one clones will clone as the other clones clone, if that makes sense. And, yeah, that didn't happen. I just got one, value off one clone, so. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the sweeper ended up blowing his troops back and uh, ended up not really picking up value off that first clone. But, as you can see, it literally doesn't even matter. Hydra's so strong. Um, if Even if you get only just the town hall with your clone, uh, loons, you can still triple these bases. Uh, we've gone over that before. Just how strong this is. Look, we still got our three best heroes alive. The RC, Warden, and Queen. Um, we got the E-Dragon still alive. The E-Dragon's a tank. We had multiple Dragon Riders um, still going too. So, nice plan by KRS. Uh, bringing home the triple for Dark Knights. Alright, this next attack. Uh, we got the enemy clan coming in. With an E Dragon attack, uh, with two Pekkas. Uh, I don't really know. Whatever works, you know. Thanks for the heroes. And with four rages and six free spells total. Uh, so we're gonna get some rages going with these E Dragons. Um, there are a lot of a lot of chain value off this uh, style base. But I know Brano's base is pretty strong. He hardly gets tripled, so I was kind of surprised to see him even get tripled. Um, but now. When I saw that it was E-Dragons, I was like, oh, well, yeah, they do pick up some chain value. But I think he's been attacked by E-Dragons before, and I don't think he's been tripled. Um, and, and he used a log launcher with the E-Dragons. So very interesting uh, crate, I guess, style attack. Uh, I, I always use the blimp with the E-Dragons just because at this point, you're going to, by the time that town hall goes down, you're going to send your whole army through it. You could definitely just blimp and... Uh, get the loons going on top of it with a dragon rider take down that town hall pretty pretty quickly And then you don't have to worry about your troops getting through it because it's uh, queen actually is going to go down through the poison Because um, that's just how strong the poison actually is But a lot of his troops end up falling, but yeah the five freeze The five freeze and four rage with the e-dragons is insane all the e-dragons are actually gone at this point But he still has all four heroes um, And we have one expo so in a Tesla, but that Tesla's gonna go down to the World Champion Shield, and unfortunately, Brando gets tripled here. I didn't, I haven't seen Brando get tripled in Clan War League in a while, so I uh, was kind of surprised to see that one, but nice little plan by him. Uh, not really sure what the Pekos were for. Not really sure what the Log Launcher was for either, but, you know, it's a triple. Triples are triples. Alright, this last attack... We got my man Michael coming in with a little bit of Clone Hydra. The return of Michael um, has been taken off some time from the game um, for personal reasons. And now he is back stronger than ever. Starting off this Clan War League with a triple. So we're going to get the King and the Queen going down south. Use a dragon to help funnel these troops in the middle. And drop the Warden, drop the Blimp, and we're just going to get going. Off to the races. Um, here goes this blimp. Gonna make it through this sweeper. Oh, the sweeper actually catches it barely. Um, I don't think that's gonna matter. We're gonna freeze up this sweeper just to make sure we don't get blown too far past the town hall. Um, and we're gonna pick up some huge value here, get all the builder huts, the sweepers, uh, everything around uh, the town hall. We actually have uh, a group go to the scatter shot and uh, other things. And now we just got these dragons, dragon riders finishing off this base. Uh, we just deploy our Royal Champion at about 2 o'clock. We're going to use her ability to uh, destroy some of these defenses. She's going to step up and probably fight this enemy Royal Champion real quick, which is huge. We freeze on her so we get her down quickly, um, which is big value because she was actually targeting the Dragon Rider. Um, we also use the Invisibility spell to help that as well. And at this point, we got an Archer Tower and an Air Defense to get through, and we have plenty of army left. These Dragon Riders are going to step up, one-shot that air defense, and this is just clean up from here. Happy to have Michael back in the lineup, especially for Clan War League. Dude's a beast, um, and he can bring home a lot of triples for Dark Knights, and that is what we need in Masters 1. 
nice plan, nice execution. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy the content. As always, appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel. Man, this channel, I have said it in the last couple videos, we're just taking off. I don't even know what to say anymore at this point. Uh, we're already at 207 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. It feels like every time I make a new video, we're growing 20 subs, which is just crazy to me. Um, so I just want to say thank you again uh, for supporting the channel as we continue to grow uh, in the Clash of Clans community. Hopefully we're bringing you guys some good content that you guys are enjoying or, or maybe learning from. Uh, that's just my ultimate goal here is just to help you guys learn and get better at Clash. Um, so yeah, this was day one. We ended up losing uh, day one, but we're going to bounce back in day two further on and uh, potentially just not get demoted. That's the goal. Uh, finish out of the bottom two. And there's no way that we're the bottom two worst clans in here. We have too many strong attackers. Uh, so we're going to take care of business and make sure we're not getting demoted in Masters 1. And then we'll bounce back for next month in uh, October and we'll push for a promotion. Um, so if you guys liked the video today, smash that like button for me. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming. We'll catch you next time.